a lot of people assert that our polarization has everything to do with social media. I'm interested in the roles that social media plays, but I do need to say that I don't think it serves by itself as much of an explanation for our polarization. Why? Because we've been exactly this polarized many, many times before, all before the internet was even a twinkle in anybody's eyes. So for example, America in the late 1960s was very polarized. This was easily seen on the streets, in living rooms, on television screens. The Vietnam War split the nation. You had young people marching against it, while others saw opposition as unpatriotic and dangerous. The civil rights movement was reshaping laws and culture, and that was going too fast for some and too slow for others. Generational divides ran deep. Parents who had lived through World War II and fought in it struggled to understand their children's embrace of counterculture and long hair and psychedelic music and radical politics. The assassinations of Martin Luther King and Senator Robert F. Kennedy, the urban riots, what happened at Kent State, all of these moments reinforced the sense that Americans were not living in one shared country, but in different realities. Trust in government plummeted with Watergate in the 1970s, and that further hardened the feeling that institutions could no longer be trusted. 